Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Simply Alicia A. Oh, and as you can see, I am overjoyed right now. <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> okay, so it's been about, I want to say maybe five to six days since my last video. So it's been about a week since I last posted something. And um, I've been busy in that last week and that busy is actually I was busy getting more plants <laughs> which is no surprise but um, the reason why I'm so ecstatic you guys is because of the plants that I got and the deals and the sales that I got on these plants so I'm not gonna uh, uh, drag this on any longer let's just get into the first part of the haul. Okay, so the first part of the haul, I was, I went to Bachman's, and this was about maybe a week or so ago, but um, this is what I got, a Ripple Peperomia, and this is the one with the red coloring, and here's the price, $4.99. I don't have this particular Peperomia, but now I do. So I'm super excited about this and the leaves, oh my gosh, they feel so adorable, so cute. I love this. Then the next one, this one here was so intriguing when I saw it. I love this plant. I'm trying to get this one done and um, repot it as soon as possible because it looks like one of the blooms is dying. But the color and then the shape of the leaves is a heart shape. Now this is a... Cyclamen, I don't know, Cyclamen, C-Y-C-L-A-M-E-N. And the reason why I like this plant, this was for $3.99. This is a two inch for $3.99. I really don't want to pay that particular price for such a small plant, but it was so cute I had to grab it. Um, I love the color of the leaves. It's not a pink, it's not a red, it's not a burgundy. It's like a pretty triple of the color. Like pink, burgundy, and red all together. I can't explain it. It's so cute, you guys. So I'm going to get this one repotted up. I'm so glad I got this. This is so cute. So that is the Bachman's part. Uh, let's move on the to the next, next store I went to. Now, this is two different stores. Um, No, I'm sorry. This is Home Depot. I went to Home Depot for this one. And um, this is two different shopping trips, shall I say. So the first product I got was... Isn't it cute? And I didn't realize, like I told you guys, I'm a creature of habit. So I like, when I see something really nice, if I don't remember that I already have it, then I wound up getting it again. So I'm kind of embarrassed because I have this already. I didn't know, but it's in a different color. And I'm giving stuff away for my plant tour. Oh my gosh. So anyways, this is the Cressula Conjunata. Yeah. C-O-N-J-U-N-C-T-A. And this one was for $4.58, I believe, for a four ounce. I believe this is a four ounce, uh, four inch, four inch. Um, jade, oh my God, this is like a stacking jade and it looks like it will grow nicely in a trailing basket. So I'm super excited about this. If you guys have any experience with any of these plants, um, if you would like, please, um, let, uh, you can put that down in the comments and let me know, like, what I can do to take care of it. Because I want to definitely be sure I take care of this little precious. She's so cute. I love it. So the next three plants I got from a different shopping trip at uh, Home Depot. I believe so. So this, I thought this was so unique when I first seen it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is, it just says assorted foliage, and I took a snapshot of the picture of the, of, the, of the pot, of the big pot in the store. So I'll get the name and I'll insert it, and I'll let you know what it is. And I thought this was so cute. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like this. This is something different. And I've been shopping lately for things that I don't have in my uh, plant family. So, um, yeah, this is, I'm changing up some things. So, if, like I said, I'm a creature of habit. So, if I like, like, pothos, I will get, like, a thousand pothos. But I'm forcing myself to change it up and get things different. So, the next one I have is this. And I took a picture of this as well because it just says assorted foliage again. But, you guys, I thought this was so stinking cute, okay? 
look at this now I don't know if this was an accident <laughs> or if this is uh, just like a fluke like a freak a fluke of nature or whatever like it was it was it's variegated like and I don't think they grow this way so I think this was like a um, a mistake or whatever in the, the growth of the plant I don't know but I was so super excited to get it now like I mentioned before variegated plants are very hard to take care of and they do grow a little bit slower and they burn easily from the Sun or they just die off because they don't have enough um, what is that called for photosynthesis um, the stuff that you does photosynthesis so they don't have enough of that in there chlorophyll <laughs> they don't have enough chlorophyll thank you Holy um, to uh, to grow so I was like this was so unique I had to get it you guys because it was unique I like it so I have a palm tree now isn't it cute and these are all pretty healthy so I cannot wait to get in that kitchen and plant some things up you guys you yes I, I can't wait I can't wait <laughs> and so the last thing I got from Home Depot was this you guys I am not familiar with begonias at all. I have no clue how to get them, but in my last come with me, I saw these and I thought the flowers on them were so pretty. And then I saw the shape of the leaves. I love the largeness of the leaves. And so I said, you know what? I am going to try this. So it reminds me of the calancho that looks similar to this. That's why I got it because it's similar to a calancho, but it's different because this one has um, uh, thinner leaves. The calancho has thicker, rubbery type leaves. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited about this. So I Googled on all the plants that I, you know, that I purchased. But if you guys have any experience with begonias, please let me know because I would love to learn how to take care of these beautiful things. I, like, do the blooms last? Does it grow back? Is, you know, does it dry off and just die? Is this a temporary, you know, beautiful plant or I think it's a perennial. So I think it comes back or something. I don't know. So, you know, just let me know. Um, leave a comment down below if you know. How, if you have experience with begonias. Right. So the next store I went to were two different Walmarts, right? And as you can see, look at this. <laughs> this is huge. This right here is a Kimberly Queen fern. Kimberly Queen fern. I don't even know how to take care of this thing, but I googled it and so I'm learning. This was a rescue, so hopefully it's not all falling apart, but hopefully I can learn how to take care of it. Look at the price I paid for it. Only $2.50, you guys. So I guess it was $5 altogether because it says save $2.50, $4.5, yep. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is, this is going to be a new endeavor for me. Look at the size that she is already for only $2.50, you guys. This is amazing. This was a steal. Not only was it a steal, but it was a... It's going to be a project because look at her roots. I don't want to dump any dirt out. Her roots are growing out of the bottom of the thing. So if you guys have any experience with these, please feel free to uh, give me some tips, some some clues on how to take care of Miss Kimberly. I think that's what I'm going to name her, Miss Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. So then let's go to the last plant from Walmart. I got a succulent now the only thing is it doesn't say what type of succulent but it looks like an, an aeonium maybe a, an an aeonium <laughs> and so this was you guys this is why I won't not I will not shop at Walmart for these size um, succulents until I guess their the spring comes in or whatever because these are four dollars and you save a dollar if you go to Bachman's um, Bachman's like I said has them for $2.99 so I'd rather go to Bachman's than to, to buy them at Walmart, even though Walmart is cheaper and other, other things. They're $4 here. So I'm the type of person, I like to save a pretty penny. Yes, I do. Yes. So <laughs> I would prefer to save some money. So um, I have not taken it out of its package yet, and I have not repotted it yet, but I can't wait. You know that? So this was $2. I paid $2 in the clearance section. So this is a rescue. So if you think that looks like an, an, an aonium, <laughs> Please let me know, and then um, yeah, I'll, I'll try my best to take care of it. It feels st it still feels pretty healthy, so I don't want to touch it right now until I pot it up. So, yeah, that's what I got from Walmart. Now, you guys, guys. So I'm gonna move on to the next part of the video, and this is actually a part of the video where 
uh, a part of the the haul that I did not go to the store however I ordered online and so um, remember that I told you guys that I ordered a um, another Angie on online well I got the plant it finally came in I was stoked you guys I was so excited oh my gosh however uh I opened the box and the baby in the box was just completely destroyed it was frozen it was nothing on the seller nothing on my behalf it was just the weather and oh my gosh I was so sad I was just oh Oh, I was sad. However, um, I got excited because I ordered I, I ordered uh, two different plants from that company two days apart, a day apart. So the first day, um, the Monstera came, and then the next day, my other plant came, and yeah, that one was frozen too. However, it's good news to both of these. So the first one, this is the Monstera. So if you close your eyes and think back to Angie. This is what that plant looked like. This plant was, I know the plant came looking like Angie. Full, beautiful, oh my gosh. But the weather got to her and she was just gone. Oh, I was sad. However, when I looked at her, when I when I peeled away the, the dead part, this is what was left. This has grown since I got her. And this was maybe a week ago. This thing grows so fast. She was not this tall, and these were not this tall at all. Now, here are the stalks that the uh, the, the dead pieces, yeah, see, the dead pieces came off of. You know, oh my gosh, I was so sad, but she's still alive. Look at this. So, I'm not mad at all. I still have another Monstera. So, because she was so precious after I seen her surviving, that's what I named her, Precious. Because she was so a trooper. She was such a trooper. And then she was precious because I'm like, oh, she's cute. Her name is Precious. And then she's so precious because she like barely had uh, this much left. Like 98% of her was gone. So that's why I called her Precious. So like I said, uh, the company took care of everything. They, um, they refunded my money for both of them, which was a blessing. I didn't know they were going to do that. And they didn't have to, but they did, which was so sweet. And so, um, yeah, I just, I just... I'm so grateful. I'm thankful that, you know, she survived. Even though she, you know, yeah, I'm going to lost for words because she, she didn't make it. But she made it. <laughs> and that goes to the next plant. So, this. Oh, I have been wanting one of these for the longest, you guys. This is the Chinese dollar plant or Chinese money plant. Or, I want to say this correctly. <laughs> Um, Peperomia, ah, gosh, Peperomia per, per something, Peperomia permariotis, <laughs> I can't say that, but the same thing happened, I got her here and I opened up the box and I kind of was like on the, on the verge of knowing that she was not going to make it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So when I opened it, I was super excited because I saw a few of the branches sticking. I was like, oh my gosh. He, oh no. Half the plant was gone, frozen. Oh, I was devastated. But then about five of these were still okay. But then they started dying um, slowly. So these two are what's left now. But what I'm super excited about, as you can see, she has peperomioides. Thank you. Peperomioides. Dang, I forgot how to say it again. Never mind. <laughs> so, this is the babies that she has. And the babies survived underneath all of the dead. The babies were still alive. So, she at first she had four, but one of them didn't make it. But look at this. There's one. Look at all of that. Look at that one still holding on. <laughs> look at that one. And then that one. So she has three babies. So technically, I have one, two, three, four plants. If this, this part chooses to survive, I have four plants. So I actually have one of my, um, my wish list plants. It's just small right now. So I'm, I'm, I can't complain. I'm not mad. So I have my peperomia, peperomioides or something like that. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. And this came in the mail. So this was a mail order. And then the last thing I got in the mail was this. And I know you're like, what on earth is that? 
this is an elephant's ear you guys so if you guys know the type of elephant ear it is please let me know i don't know if it's frozen because it was kind of cold when it got here and then one layer did come off a little bit later however she had really good roots the roots was nice and white and healthy looking so i just planted her in the ground i planted her in here and um i just you know made sure it was well draining and um, i'm gonna go from there so hopefully she grows if not it was only like six dollars oh this was like six dollars and thirty something cent free shipping and then um this one was twenty three dollars altogether so like i said before i didn't pay too much of nothing for this one and for angie so plants like this and this size especially people want forty fifty dollars for these things so um and this one was about eighteen dollars free shipping for a six inch now you go to um you go to bachman's a four inch they wanted thirty dollars for a four inch plant now they dropped the price down to 15 so yeah but yeah these are my plants i got from the mail and what i say i love the company that i ordered from i will not give their name right now only because um i mean i could you know what as a matter of fact i could the um gardens gardens good direct I, I that was my first time ordering from them and then um the reason why i said i wouldn't give their information is because i didn't want people to order and then like the plants die or something then they blame the company or something so but no the company was excellent the plants for the price and the sizes beautiful it's just the weather so they advised me to order um, when the when the months are when the uh, months are warmer when the weather is warmer that way when I get my plants They will be uh, they will be alive and things like that So I love that company and I will definitely be ordering when the weather warms up. So that's in a few weeks you guys <laughs> Yeah, to pray for me <laughs> I, um, Pray for me for real <laughs> So yes, um, yeah, so those are my three plants that I got online so let's move to the last part of the haul, you guys. And this is where I'm like in a stratosphere right now, but you can't see it. I'm so excited. I have to make myself calm down. So let's move on to the next part of the haul. All right, right you guys. So the last part of the haul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I went to Lowe's. This is where I went uh, the last part of the haul. Now, mind you, this is two different Lowe's that I went to. So the first Lowe's I went to, this is where I got these and the other three plants right here. Um, I went to the Lowe's that was close to my, well, not, not close, actually. It's kind of far from my area as well. And um, so I got these. Are These are rescues now. These are supposed, they're called Lucky Bamboos. But what I've learned since I've been Googling, these are not bamboo. This is dr a Dracaena. I didn't know that. So now I do know. So now that I have Dracaenas, I kind of understand how to take care of them. But I still, I'm still Googling on how to take care of the Lucky Bamboo. But, um, yeah, so anyways, these are rescues. Look at the roots. Look at the roots. So these are ready to be planted. And I was told that they can either, of course, be planted in water, in rocks, or they grow best when you plant them in dirt. So um, these were only for a dollar. Look at that. Oh, if it stops shaking. These are only for a dollar, you guys. Look at this. Look at that. That is so cool. I have never had one of these before. So I am super excited to go into this endeavor with this plant. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you guys are going to see these styled up. I'm super excited and I cannot wait. So let's move on to the next part. Lay them down carefully. Now these I got from that same store, same Lowe's. Look at that. <laughs> I am so excited. So this is the Senecio Jacobsonii. So this is the trailing jade, you guys. So you know how much of a, I wouldn't say freak I am, but how much of a just huh, excited I am about trailing plants. So I already have, I'm giving stuff away. I already have trailing jade. However, what I'm going to do is, um, the next video you guys are going to see me do is, I'm going to plant all of them together in a big pot so they can be one big happy family and be a big bushy plant like I really, really want you guys. So they were having a sale on these. That's why I was excited to get all three. Um, these were normally, uh, um, I can't remember the price, but 
they were three for twelve so they dropped down to four dollars each so I don't know if they were five dollars each maybe six dollars each but they dropped them down to four dollars so four eight twelve I said yep let's go put it in the box twelve thirteen four yep I spent fourteen dollars on that trip you guys oh my gosh come on for a plant that's going to be massive and oh, come on you can't beat that so yeah that's what I got at this Lowe's now this is where I am over the moon like I felt with Angie okay you guys oh my gosh. so let me show you the next part of this haul okay <laughs> Okay, you guys, so <laughs> when I went to this Lowe's today, actually, I went today, this is way far from my house, like at least almost 30 minutes away from my house, right? Oh my gosh, they were having a massive sale. I don't know what was going on, I don't know what happened, but they were having a massive sale on pretty much all of their inventory for some odd reason, right? So as you can see, the, all of these plants I'm going to show you except for two are rescues, okay? Now, I know exactly, I pretty much kind of can tell what's wrong with this one, but this was in the section and the next plant coming up, 75% off of the listed price. I only paid $3.74 for this plant, you guys. This is a mass cane. And it looks like it's supposed to grow, and they had a bunch of these. If you can see the sticker that grows on the stick or whatever, that dumb cane type stick or whatever. Um, they had a bunch of these. These were $15, $14.98. I only paid three dollars and like 74 cents for these, you guys. Oh my goodness. So it looks like I can feel the weight of it, and I can tell they watered it, they overwatered it. Now, what I, the reason why that's why I did the haul today so I can get her replanted tomorrow because I need to get her out of this pot because I don't want her roots to uh, to rot because that's what's happening. So I googled it also and this says that this, the reason why it's yellow is because it's too much water. They overwatered it. So I'm like, oh, okay. And then I can feel it here and then I can look and see. It looks like it's cocoa core and cocoa core can hold up to, I think they said 90% or 120% or something like that of its weight in water. That's the wrong type of material to put a plant in that can't handle that much water. Now, I think they may have used this for shipping purposes. I'm not sure, but she has to come out of this immediately. So, in my replanting video, you guys will see me get her out of the way. Now, this is a big pot. This is a big plant to pay only $4 for. So, if she survives, I'm happy. I only paid $3.74, so I didn't go over budget. Yes. If she doesn't make it, I unfortunately, if she doesn't make it, I hope she does. Um, I did, I'm not wasting that much money because it's only three dollars and seventy four cent. So you know what I'm saying it's like a win win type situation a little bit in a way. Like I can't get too mad if she don't make it because I didn't spend like fifteen dollars on this plant. You know, so yeah. Whew. Next plant. <laughs> oh, she's heavy. She's got too much water. Okay, this one, you guys. You guys help me out with this one, okay? This plant right here, same thing. $3.74. This is a quarter line. Now, if you look at this plant, I think this plant is damaged more than what um, I can uh, repair in a way. I don't know if it was heat damage. Maybe somebody had it directly over a heating vent or something. Is it supposed to look like this? But, um, yeah, this was 75% off, so I only paid like $3.74 for this. Now, look at this. It's still growing. It still has new growth. And look at the brightness of some of these leaves. So, if you guys have any tips on what to do with this, please let me know, because I'm not familiar with this plant or that plant either. But I know with yellowing, you, you kind of remove the leaves, the dead leaves, and then kind of trim off the yellowing. But um, with this, I don't know, like... This looks like this was burned or frozen or something, maybe. Um, like, is it supposed to be this color? Because I've seen another quarter line that was pretty red. This one isn't red. This one is green. So, I don't know. I'm not familiar with this. So, if you could help me, that would be a, such a blessing. Because I don't know what to do with this plant. But I Googled it, and it still didn't show me, like, this specific color. So, if you maybe know, like, what type of damage it has. Um... Oh, that would be great if you could let me know so I'll know how to 
better combat it, you know, because like I said, $3.74 and there's three plants in here, not bad, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I was stoked when I saw this. I'm like, oh my gosh, 75% off all of this plant? You know I had to get it. <laughs> so, next part. Okay, so this was in the other side of the store in the rescue section where they were 90% off, you guys. 90% off the list price. You see that price right there? I didn't even pay that price for this plant. I did not pay this price for that plant. I think I paid... I think I seen something that wrong up for like 50 cent? 90 cent or something like that? Oh my gosh, come on. And these are supposed... This is a cane. And look, it's still healthy. It's still hard. It's still solid. It's still life growing in it. I'm just over the moon excited at these prices and the... Uh, the deals that I got you guys. So this is a yucca cane. So if you guys have any information on this one as well, even though I'm Googling, it does help to get first-hand advice from people who have had experience with these. So um, yeah, that would be great if you could help me. And then it does look like it has cocoa core and fungus gnats. So uh, yeah, I have to deal with those again still. So um, yeah, a yucca cane. So I'm excited to bring this one back from the brink as well. But if it doesn't survive, I only pay like 50 cents, so it's not bad. You can't beat that for a large plant that looks like it's going to grow. I'm so excited. So, moving on to the next one. This one, you guys, I am so excited about because I already have a few types of Diphenbachia. I say Diphenbachia, but some people say Diphenbachia. This one was a rescue, of course, as well as you can see. But if you look at this, look at the difference. I don't have one like this. The leaves are more hardier, more so, uh, more hardier. The color is more solid. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> and this was 90% off. 90% off in the rescue section. So I didn't pay but 50 cents, maybe 60 cents or something like that. So, and she looks like she has new life even though that's kind of, eh. But yes. So... Let's move on to the next plant. Okay, you guys, so the next plant. These two are regular price, but I'm going to show you. Um, of course, I'm going to show you these. They put too much water in these, so it's kind of heavy. But look at this beauty. Look at this. Anybody can tell me what this is. Look at that. This is a Pia, Pia Tree Ivy, Pia, Pia. I don't know how to pronounce that, but this was for $3.98. And you guys, oh my gosh, the reason why I was attracted to this is because look at the size of the leaves and then look at the shape. Look at the shape of the leaves. To me, it screamed maple tree almost. I know it's not a maple tree, but it looks so much like a maple tree. And the hardiness of the leaves, you guys, I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. You are so beautiful. She's coming home with me, so... <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh. And then the next one, you guys. I got my baby. Like I said, I want it. There she is. <laughs> and this was regular price. $3.48. And this is the China doll. This is what I said I wanted, you guys. So I paid $3.48. And look how healthy she is. I love this plant. This plant. Now they say this plant is very delicate and finicky, and um, yeah, I'm gonna Google some more on it to see how exactly, I see exactly how to take care of it, you guys. So I'm super excited about this. I got her. She's a beauty. Look at her. She's so cute. Hi, baby. <laughs> so the last part, the last, last two, two plants. plants, you guys, I got was this. <gasps> so all of their hanging baskets that they had were 50% off. All of them, you guys. Remember, I sh no, I didn't show you that. All of their baskets they had were 50% off. So, you know, you know I jumped on that, you guys. This was the $10.98 basket, and I jumped right on it. This right here, this little beauty is the strawberry begonia. Like the other, well, that's not like the other begonia, but this is another begonia. No clue how to take care of a begonia. But I'm going to Google it. So if you have first, as a matter of fact, I do have a question. If you would happen to know why the plant is doing this, 
please let me know if you could is it like a spider plant that when it gets root bound or something it shoots off like little babies to grow somewhere because I, I, I I'm not familiar with this plant but look it has two stringies and then it has two pups on the end or something I don't know is that normal is this what the plant's supposed to do? And they overwatered her. So I got to get her out this pot as well. When I picked her up, the water was pouring out of the bottom. So all of their plants were on sale. Um, their um, their uh, half off, the hanging baskets were half off. So this is the strawberry begonia, you guys. I thought she was so cute because she kind of remind me of the string of hearts. So um, I only paid like $5 and like, what, some change for her. So I'm not that bad at all. Five dollars and like fifty something cent maybe. So yeah, if you know what this is, am I supposed to cut this off? Am I supposed to let it hang? You know, somebody please let me know because I don't want to do nothing crazy to this beauty. You know, she is so pretty. And look at the back of her leaves. I guess that's why they call it the strawberry begonia because it's red, like a red strawberry color. <laughs> She's so cute. I like her. I like her. So the last plant, you guys. The last plant in the haul is this. I don't quite know what it is. The name is Kodonathi. Kodonanthi. I don't know how to pronounce that. But look, that's the name. And this was half off as well. And of course, it's a trailing plant. So you know I'm stoked about that. It's a trailer. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to Google some more on this. And she's pretty heavy too. So I think they overwatered these plants. So I'm going to have to get them out of these pots as tonight. Or if not tonight, definitely tomorrow in my planting hall. Plant, uh, plant with me. So um, yeah, I'm going get to get them out of their plants and let them uh, dry out a little bit. Because they're just really super heavy, soggy. And that's not good for plants because that's how you get root rot. But yeah, this is, I love the texture of the leaves. They're fat, chunky leaves. Yet, they're delicate. Isn't that something? Look how delicate those leaves look. So, yeah, I'm super excited. And I hope that she survives. Because if you look, she has a lot of new growth at the top. All of this is new growth at the top. So, hopefully, she survives and doesn't get root rot. So, it's so All nice. right, everyone. So, that is it for this haul. I want to thank you all so much, so, so much for uh, joining me. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching my channel. All of the new subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. And um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the like button and the um, subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I post things up on my channel. Um, I do have more content coming. Um, the plant tour is definitely on its way. That's in the works right now as we speak. And then um, I do have more projects coming up. I'm doing my plants with me when I plant all my babies up. That's coming up, so you guys get ready for that. Also, um, I do have more projects as well with my um, composting. So I'm going to be um, doing composting. I'm going to get some worms and things like that and set up my compost bin so that I can make my, um, make my own dirt and... Um, what else? Oh, my daughter. She made something in school and she thought about her mommy, which was so precious. She thought about mommy and it's like a little, a cute little pot. It's sitting up there. It's a cute little pot that she made. So I'm going to uh, do a project with that as well. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. And um, what else do I have? I have a few more projects coming up. Oh, I'm going to be making, um, as soon as the weather gets warm, I'm going to be making a... Um, a wall shelf on my balconies because I have two balconies so I'm going to be making a wall shelf so some of the plants that can stay outside all summer all spring and summer and can take the Sun and the heat I'm going to be sitting them outside uh, for the for the season and then um, all of the plants that um, can take partial sun and the heat I'll be setting them up outside as well but there's going to be something special I'm doing with that as well so um, thank you so much again, you guys, and I really do appreciate you guys for your comments. I have people requesting the plant tour. Like, it's, it's so amazing. I love it. And you guys, it's coming. It's in the works right now. And so um, I just uh, thank you for thank you for joining me. And if, like I said, if you have any information on any of these plants that you've seen, just please leave like the time that you saw it on the video and let me know 
uh, like what plant it is and like some care tips or something I really appreciate you guys because I do listen when you guys tell me things I do um, I do take that advice you know into account so um, thank you so much again and don't forget that I love you God loves you too and I will see you all in the next video bye